Hey, I'm Kev Kev. Welcome back to iRacing and the Ferrari GT3 Challenge Fix Series. As we've got a 15 minute sprint, do not qualify that well as if I scroll down. There we are in eight of the number seven cars. So we're in the mid pack. We pack should be out of 19 drivers. Not happy with the qualifying that though. Made quite a few mistakes. So we could have been battling for fourth or even third in qualifying. So there's maybe a bit more pace on lock. In the race but we're around mid high sports car course of a short circuit got 15 very difficult corners it's undulating it's a classic american road course but it's very difficult to overtake though it's very tight and twisty especially in the middle sector so we'll see what we can do from a five would love to get a top five after coming off the back of that win in silverstone last the time yeah, but we've got a bit of a Six, tougher crowd just, here a bit better than we had then and I'm not as good round here as I am round Silverstone which I've driven in lots of sims in games so let's see what I can do around mid Ohio then that's some racing barefoot so hopefully don't get a bit too sweaty towards the end of the race as I guess keep it in first as the pace car rolls off and we okay, should start racing. That's 15 minutes. Not going to overtake to the first corner. We'll see a disagreement at, a big, at the start. So we've gained a couple of places, so we're up to sit. So a good start behind from some guys who avoid the damage as well. And we need being first gear when we... That's at the previous corner. Actually, on the top five battle. A little look. Well, I said, it's tight and tristy in this little sector. It's all about rhythm, all about... Keeping the car going forward. And so really are battling in front. It's kind of backing everyone up here. Even though we've got a gap behind somehow. Someone's spinning. Again, our wreck avoidance done, aren't we? There's all someone in the pits. That's why we're all backed up. Then someone had damage. It's the leader here damage, is it? Yeah, here we are in third. So maybe that top of five will be coming today then. Let's go around ten outside imagine to survive. Let's come on, barely clip the grass. Now imagine it is to survive. Okay, Kev. Ignore that fucker in your arrest. Stick to your line. Nail those exits. Okay, calm down, Spur. Everyone getting a bit angry in this race so far. This car gets a bit light over that kind of rock that jump so you've got to be careful there and here as well so I might just sit here see what the pace is like as oh no seconds gone for a tumble Times P2. It wasn't even a good lap and he did a 23.9. I'll take that. It wasn't that much slower than the leader either. It seems to be us top three that are kind of pulled away. Just turn our second gap to fourth. And 
I've noticed you've got to keep in the throttle so much in this car. It feels like. Oh, you're not rolling off the throttle as much, maybe, as you did in the past from what I remember driving this car. Or maybe because I was so rubbish at it, that's maybe why. Oh, yeah, I just meant to roll off the throttle quite a lot. I'll keep the throttle in quite a lot, should I say. So did we. Well, 393. That's good, it's a couple of tenths quicker than the guy behind as well. So after a frantic beginning, it's kind of settled down now. Let's approach halfway mark of the race. Say like halfway, Mike. Third of the race gone, should I say. Here's the sprint. We've got to be pushing all the time. Around the circuit. It can be tough when your ears are pointed the other way, like there. Again, wants to get out there. Another 23 3, that's consistency. Don't very, don't very often say that about my driving. Well, we did actually practice for this race, unlike the Silverstone race I did last time. Well, I just hopped in without no practice. This time we've done around 10 laps. So as I say, it's the circuit I'm not very familiar with. It's a bit tricky. As I say, it's all about kind of rolling off the throttle and confidence, and that's not something you really want to be hopping into a lobby to learn in a race. It's not like Silverstone, which I know damn well, and it's almost natural for me to drive around there. I know this is in, I think it's in Race Room as well. Maybe in other games as well, Mid-Ohio. Oh yeah, the NASCAR games, because it's on I well, know it's the Xfinity series. Schedule, so 23 9, that's not good. That's pretty slow. Always aiming to be in that 23, that's the baseline. See, those are times we want to be chasing what we're trying to chase in qualifying, those 23 flats, high 22s. Seem to have edge in this sector, the leader. But kind of losing out almost everywhere else. So it's always oh, spun! Second week in a while, we'll be gifting the victory. No, I was kind of timing myself on him, so. Now we've got to rein that in. Just concentrate now. You're leading. Don't remind me, spotter. Yeah, another 
Well, that's an in the 24s behind. And he's dropped down to third. So all we've got to do is survive. I can't imagine how they do on a multi-class race around here, like IMSA and stuff. Well, that must be chaos in a high racing. If there's anything like this race, but again, it's maybe not as high a level. So they didn't know, this is for open to anyone who's basically got a license, apart from rookies. So in I racing, it goes from license D, C, B, A, and there's pro licenses as well, if you're that good. I've actually dropped down to C. I've normally been B or A, but I've dropped down to C for this season. And that's safety rating, by the way. I rating. It's different. That's all I need to hear. Gaps increasing. As you do a 24-3, very slow. Looks good enough. Maybe because the chase is off now. Just slowing down slightly. Plus he's going to be battling with former leader as well. It's a massive gap from the top three to the rest. 7.6 seconds I just noticed. But I also in the multi-class race and you can have it all over the spectrum as well. So maybe it's just a few drives that are a bit poor rather than the whole field in this case. Because it is decided by I rating which kind of split you in. We'll probably be in a second or third out of three splits. That's a bit wide. So not having a high safety rating or a high I rate at the moment on the roadside. Not even on the oval side as well. I'm like B. Actually it's getting better on an oval side. No, it's not just road like normal road as well, road dirt as well with the rally cross and the Lucas Oil trucks. But that's getting better. That's getting better than this, my normal road. High rating. That's all they're in. Battling Turchi behind. Which is very good. Even though we're basically just cruising at this point. We're just making sure we're hitting our marks. You can see we've gone all the way down to the mid 24s. That time wise. As the rage is by. It's going to be raging after this race. To such an easy mistake to make as well. And as I said, sometimes over a couple of these crests, going through that double right, and as well, the rear just gets unloaded. Very easy to spin the car. Especially as these setups for these Ferraris are not the most stable. And so that's why we try and keep throttling quite a lot. What I've discovered this season. It's always battled back. There we go, 24 flat, that's more like it. Better change for fourth as well. Number one car's been overtaken. So we've got two laps basically, this one and the next one. So it'll actually be 11 laps. Yeah, and we're all close. Got 15 minutes. Yeah, that's maybe why we're a bit better with this car now. We've kind of now to drive around these setups. Now I've just got to learn it in IMSA, I think these cars racing. Like in their equivalent of the GT Daytona class. You're in the lead. Thanks for reminding me, Spotter. I had not noticed. So 
It's got a good battle going on behind, just three tents separating them. Need to maybe concentrate on the road in front rather than looking behind. So yeah, that's just the next level. Like, I always want to jump on this because if I just want to jump onto our race before quick race, this is always handy. Yeah, but last lap, keep your shit together. You're not home yet. Sector one is 0.5 off the pace. Yeah, you go back into the mid 24s. I mean, they're doing 25s behind, so we're well, okay. They're actually closing his fourth as well. If only there was another couple of that. So this is like a 25 minute race, and that could have been interesting. Battle for second. Just two cents separate them. Expect to die from the number five. There's no. Second off track. off track. limits. So easy to do that as well. As you see, it's quite a deceiving corner that right hander. I always think you've got more room on the outside than you do. So it does lead to actually good two ride racing. I've noticed in IndyCar in real life, but it can be very tricky. You just outbreak yourself slightly. Uh, it's just one. Oh, two corners to go. And for the first time, I think ever in our racing, I've got two wins in a row with the same car in the same series. Oh, yes. That's how you survive. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. 25.3. Well, you deserve that today. Two minutes to go. As who got second? I did. Vincent held on. Great job. And the number 17 car, remember there's 19 drivers in the field, so number 17 means he's not got a good eye rating, but drove damn well there. And yeah, our, rate, our rating will go up now, so yeah, super job. He's gone off for a sprint already around the block, victory sprints, but hope you enjoyed some eye racing. I'm after a frantic beginning, yeah, the race did really did settle down, did it? And we kind of got gifted this one. The same with the game sometimes in this priority series is just surviving. Now, you're breaking up. now we've done it two races in a row, maybe we can make it three for next week. Pardon? As I don't know what crew chief, crew chief are not speaking to you. Speak more clearly, I can't hear you. No, we're, we're not on speaking terms anymore, okay? I didn't understand that. Well, he's worse than Jeff, isn't he? from the F1 games, but I hope you enjoyed. I didn't catch that. For I see as I definitely have again. And I'll be back with maybe IndyCar, because that's around Dover that. this right, this week. Repeat that's still be a NASCAR track. It's a short oval, it's bumpy as hell. Oh, no, I just can't hear you. Should be fantastic. Crew Chief, shut up. I didn't catch that. Okay, no more updates. Thank you. So I'll be back next time. Sound fortune, I'll see you then.